Welcome back to the 38th Artistic Gymnastics World Championships, and now the women's all-around event. After rotation one of four, two Americans are in the top eight. They're chasing Emily Lepenic from France, who nailed her uneven bars routine with a 9.512. We join the action now with Lepenic on the balance beam. All right, our leader after the first rotation, Emily Lepenic now on the beam. Emily seems to have a nice, calm presentation about her on the beam. Nice full twist in my handspring and great rhythm. Just getting ready to do her series. One arm back handspring to a layout. Oh, no. Mm. That's difficult. What do you think happened there? The one arm back handspring, first of all, you have to be so precise in that skill because you only have one arm for support. It uh, looked like she was a little bit off, and, you know, once you're off on that, you go to the layout, there's really nothing you can do but pretty much pray to stay straight and stay on that four-inch beam. Uh, we'll see if they're going to do a replay on that, but I thought it was a little too fast, that back handspring in one hand. She was the first French woman ever to win an Olympic gold medal in gymnastics. This, unfortunately, is typically her weakest event. She was decent in the qualifying round, 9-1-1-2, but expect a lower score today. Nice Although, dismount. Oh, yeah, great. Although it, she fell, it didn't seem to affect the rest of her routine. The dismount was supposed to be a triple. It looked like she was a little bit short, so, you know, again, if... The judge decided to make more than two tenths. Disappointment for Emily Lepenic, 8725, will drop her down. No matter what the rules are, you have to acknowledge that Chelsea Memel is spectacular on the bars. I don't care what, how you make up the rules, she'll be able to get an incredible score. Amazing amplitude. Chelsea always amazes me on bars. Everything she does is so high flying. Very aggressive. Yeah. Not only does she do the skill, but she flies to the ceiling when she does it. Beautiful handstand. Outstanding. Oh my nice goodness. Nice dismount. That's gonna get a good score. Absolutely. She's known for that pike in jam to an invert, right to a dismount. There's her father. I just love this jam. Oh, me too. And you don't see too many people in the world do that at all. How about that, folks? 9537, Chelsea Memel. She moves into the lead with that outstanding performance. She'll have to try to hold off this young lady, her teammate, Anastasia Liukin. She's known as Nastia Liukin. Oh, I love this routine. Me too. Nastia is one of the most unique gymnasts I've ever seen. She has the longest body ever, and it makes everything she does look beautiful. And she's not really that tall, but she just extends so beautifully. There's Jeez. her father, nice Larry Liukin, an Olympic gold medalist and world champion. Beautiful Stepping into spotter, too. nice. Oh, this is really good work. She's hitting all her handstands great. So the judges can't take anything there. Wow. How Suck about that? <laughs> Her legs and arms are so long. It makes bars look phenomenal. Well, she's unique in that she looks more like a rhythmic gymnast. Her mother, Anna Kochneva, was the world champion with clubs in rhythmic gymnastics. So she has really the physique of her mother and the daring acrobatic skill of her father. Perfect combination. All right, currently in second place, Anastasia Liukin, Nastia, 18.724. You see 9.587 for that routine on the bars. Now, Severino, we saw her start off with a clean vault with a botched landing slightly. She can be spectacular on the uneven bars, and uh, she is the reigning European champion on the floor.
Mine full? Oh. oh! It's the same skill we saw performed earlier. Oh, she went for it. Here's the replay. Oh. Looked like she was a little bit too close and caught on her, uh, her grip, actually. Not on her hand on the bar. And uh, that's unfortunate. Now, this is how she is. She is a go-for-it kind of gymnast. She never plays it safe, so I admire that about her, but that will obviously uh, destroy her chances of a possible medal in the all-around today. Oh, oh no. no. Looked like she didn't throw hard enough with her shoulders for her Shapashnikova. Potentially, if she hits her team, she could get a nice score. All right, Beth Tweddle now. This is a fantastic event for her. Wow. Beth, what she does, she does it big. It looks like she just goes for it all. Doesn't hold back at all. Beautiful skill. Wow. So aggressive. She's 20 years old. She won a bronze medal on the bars at the Worlds before. Wow, I don't think I saw her feet come apart one time in that routine. <laughs> Beautiful. It's amazing how she connects all those difficult skills, too. You don't see too many people do that. You'll see them do a hard skill and then either do a cast out of it or connect to a, a B or C skill, and she just decides to put all the Ds and Es together. <laughs> and what form? Beautiful toe point throughout. 9-5-1-2 leaves Beth Tweddle in third place. A solid start. That's about what she should expect. She's having a good day. Okay, you can hear the crowd get pumped up now. Monette Rousseau, big moment for this young lady. Nice Jaeger. A little bit short of a handstand there. Again, Monette is very clean lines and beautiful toe point. Really sticks out to the judges. Okay. A little bit slow on the dismount. Didn't come off too aggressive on the bar. See a little form break in the air there. Nine, three, six, two. That's about right. 18, five, four, nine. Monette Rousseau will be in fourth place at the halfway point of this competition. So a nice routine by the hometown favorite Rousseau. She joins Memel and Liukin atop the leaderboard with Great Britain's Elizabeth Tweddle in third place, but right off the pace. When we return, it's rotation three from Melbourne. Welcome back to Melbourne and the women's all-around competition with the United States' Anastia Liukin on the balance beam. Important moment now for Nastia Liukin. Boy, she is spectacular on this event when she hits. This is actually one of her best, better events and a beautiful series. As we were chatting away during that one-touch warm-up, you noticed Chelsea Membel was very shaky. She was all over the place in that warm-up. Liukin looking aggressive and solid here. Ayugan has a rhythm like Horkina on balance being very long and fluid with her movements. And never really seems to wobble too much on the balance beam or get frazzled. She's the reigning U.S. champion on this event. Beautiful. It seems to me gymnasts who are very fluid seem to stay on the beam better than athletes who are sort of the springy powerhouse type. Nadia, that was your case, I think. You were very smooth throughout your performance and able to finesse those landings and not you, just go popping off the beam. You finesse and you're clever and you have continuity because you have long legs and long arms and you can cover up some things that cannot be seen. Oh, nice triple twist. One of the, one of the better triple twists we've seen today. Oh, that was a big moment for Liukin. The first one to go on the beam in that rotation. And Papa Valeri Liukin knows that was a key moment in today's event. She was born in Moscow, came to the United States with her folks in 1992. She looks rather fragile because she's so lean, but she is intense. 9587 for Liukin. That's a huge score. Huge score and a critical <laughs> performance here. She doesn't seem to uh, 
psyched up. She's pretty uh, focused. Big moment here for Manette Rousseau. Back hands from two layouts. Very clean with a little wobble. Normally, if you don't jump out of both feet with the same amount of weight on both feet, um, it causes you to wobble a little bit. Very nice connection. That was very difficult. That was a tuck fold to a full twisting swing down. I liked her technique on that. A lot of gymnasts cheat that full twisting swing down, more like a full twisting back handspring chest roll. She did it beautifully. Whoever her beam coach is, they've worked very well with her connecting skills. Usually gymnasts will go to connect two skills and, you know, they take one or two seconds and the judges are not going to give it to you because they, they feel like you've stood there too long in between each skill or done too much of an arm swing and she seems to land one skill and jump right into the other. Head coach of the team down there, Peggy Liddick, coached Shannon Miller to her Olympic gold medal in 96 on the balance beam. So she knows something about coaching beam. That makes sense. <laughs> Shannon was amazing on beam. There's Peggy Liddick, and you can see her. <laughs> a big sigh of relief when any gymnast finishes a good beam routine. Looked like here she was right on. She almost second-guessed herself. Did she need to step back? You know, I don't think so. It looked like she was fine when she landed. She should have, should have held her arms out in front. It looked like she just dropped an arm. And, I mean, the littlest of things, to be a quarter of a degree off is going to make you wobble on beam. Two of them have done their beam routines. Monette Rousseau gets a 9-3-6-2. she will be behind Nastia Liukin, 27-9-1-1. She's in second place currently. Now, this young lady does a lot of stuff on oh, every yeah. event. And in fact, she submitted a move here to the gymnastics officials, uh, a piked front with a half, which she is uh, performing. They're going to name it a memo? And she gets an E value, which means she'll get two tenths of point bonus. It is a risky move, but she does not shy away from going for the big tricks. There it is. Nailed it. Wow. Not only wow. did she do it, she did it perfect. The thing I like about Chelsea is you have your gymnasts and they'll have their events that they throw big skills on then maybe one event that's not so good. It seems like every event she does, she goes big and does some of the hardest skills in the competition on every event. Beautiful. Beautiful Arabian. Gymnastics fans know her story. She won gold medals at the Pan Am Games. She was not expected to compete at the 2003 World Championships in Anaheim and Ashley Postel got sick they brought in Chelsea memo they had other injuries and she was a part of that magnificent victory getting the gold medal in the team and an individual gold medal where she tied with Holly Weiss on the uneven bars broke her foot before the 2004 Olympics and was not able to be on that team that was a big disappointment for her but my goodness she has a chance today to win a medal, maybe even gold at these world championships. Beautiful double hike dismount. Chelsea's going to re receive a huge score for that beam routine. Ooh. You know, she even had a couple times in there where there was potential for wobble, and she worked through it, and um, the judges aren't going to take anything for it. Wow, you even see her feet there. She even punches a little crooked. But amazingly, she squares out in the air and sticks it with no deduction all the major contenders have gotten through balance beam successfully beautiful performances in fact everything will come down to their final exercises mm -hmm. on the floor nine four two five twenty eight two eight seven she's in second all right now three of four events complete here at the world gymnastics championships and the women's all-around competition a lot of folks here cheering for Monette Rousseau, the hometown girl. She's local, and she has a chance to have a medal to hate, perhaps. Memel, 28-2-8-7. Rousseau, 27-9-1-1. It's close. Australia, this is the final rotation to decide the women's all-around champion. 
and it's the local gal, Manette Rousseau, currently in third place, having a strong competition. She takes the floor first. This is it. Can Australia win an all-around medal at the World Gymnastics Championships? Piked full in. And then tucked full in. Now both those passes, they're going to give her a little bit of landing deduction. She didn't quite land and step out of it in a controlled manner. She had a little hop in each one of them, so it's going to cost her a bit. Gymnastics fans may recognize the dance choreography. It's another one of those Adi Pope routines. dance jumps there they've been pretty decent that tuck jump jump double actually i don't know if they're going to give it to her her knees weren't actually up to her chest and the judges are stickler with that dance skill since a lot of people try to perform it for her third pass here. Low double pike, but she seems to pull it out. <laughs> <laughs> Monette Rousseau, could it be a medal for Australia in the all-around at the World Championships? That has not happened before. Whatever happens, she has delighted this enormous crowd. What a relief in front of your hometown fans. Again, she just stick, stays with the double pike. It's a little bit low, but as long as you stay with that skill, she pulls it out to stick it. All right, 37-298. Rousseau is our leader. Liukin and Memo yet to go. Ranked second after three rotations. This is big. Boy, can she tumble. That's a whip whip to Arabian Noble front and she stays in bounds. I usually see a double layout perform for the first pass, but Chelsea just goes and busts it off for a second pass. <laughs> now, was that turn she did, is that called the memo? Did they have the actual names after her? I'm not sure, but um, I haven't seen that anywhere done. Both of her parents were all-America collegiate gymnasts. They're gym m and &M Gymnastics in West Dallas, Wisconsin. They're a lot of people cheering back home. Pikes for win. Seems to be on a roll here. I like the energy of this floor team. It's a little different style for Chelsea. She's always done the cutesy routines, and here it's uh, more, more of a mature style for her. So. Uh, it's awesome. With that driving music that you might see in a collegiate gymnastic routine. Beautiful though, by dismount and stuck it. What a takeoff. What technique and power. The whole package, Chelsea Memo. I don't see much that can take off at all for her. That was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the replay of her piked full, and you can see a little bit of leg separation in the air. That might be on, one of the only things the routine that the judges can take off on. Not too much deduction here, though. This amazed me, the lift and the mechanics on a pike double at the end. That's just perfect technique. And when you combine it with the natural power that she has, that's great stuff. 37, 8, 2, 4. She sets the mark to beat much higher than her score in the preliminary round. 
Rousseau has hit. Memo has hit. And guess what? The last performer of tonight, Nastia Liukin. A year ago, she was a junior gymnast. This year, she won her senior national title in her first attempt in U.S. competition. Can she add a world title to it as well? Beautiful. This is a two and a half twisting pass for the last part of that pass. And this is where you can see the influence of her mother, the rhythmic gymnast. Look at the long lines and just beautiful presentation. If you were just flipping the channels and happened to see just the dance part of Nasty, you'd think you were watching a ballet and then she just busts out and does a tumble for you. Nice triple twist. Nasty ends with a two and a half twist which is one-tenth bonus. Beautiful routine. Keep in mind, 24 thousandths of a point separate Memel and Liukin. You saw Memel's outstanding performance. She set the bar very high for Nastia Liukin. USA Chelsea Memel. Look at that, folks. 9512-37823. Chelsea Memel adds an all-around gold medal to her repertoire after a disappointment last year of not being on that Olympic team for the American women that won the silver medal in Athens. She is the gold medalist at the World Championships. Nastia Liukin will get the silver. Monette Rousseau, the first medal ever for Australia. It is .001, one one thousandths of a point. An unbelievably close finish to this world championship, and congratulations to the Americans who finish 1-2 in this well-contested event. For Chelsea Memel and her father, this is a moment to cherish. Stay tuned. We've got more coming up after the break. Welcome back. Now we present some of the best individual accomplishments in these world championships. We begin with men's horizontal bar, some of the high-flying antics and tremendous dismounts. 9-6-6-2. Bagon gives Slovenia its second gold medal. Wow. Nice. That was a totally different vault than he did. Folks, that's going to be the gold medal. <laughs> Uri van Gelder from the Netherlands delivers. Sixteen-year-old from Plano, Texas, happy with that performance. Teammates proud of her as well. Another one-two finish for the Americans, and Beth Tweddle another bronze, her second bronze on the bars. Alicia Sacramoni, 17 years of age, from Winchester, Massachusetts, and man, can she ball? Watch this. For handspring, Rudy with the stuck landing. Outstanding. Amazing. I love the mechanics on that. that that's a 9-9 start value ball. Boy, talk about good execution. Sacramoni moves into the lead. Oh, Beautiful. my goodness. Look at that, 9-7-2-5 for Chong Fei. Not only does she do the hardest ball to meet, she does it impeccable. Handspring double Beautiful. front at the end. I Great love that. Lady. She is, folks, the reigning 
world all-around champion. Thanks for on that gold hike. And that pretty was amazing. An amazing <laughs> that really was. Nice pick up the out layup. Going off to the twist. Nastia Liukin, she will win one more gold medal at these world championships at Chelsea Memo will get the silver, so the feast continues for the American athletes here in Melbourne with seven medals. This competitor on floor is a World Cup medalist. Please welcome from the United States of America, Alicia Sacramoni. It's Alicia Sacramoni, already a bronze medalist on the vault here at these World Championships. She is one sassy performer on the floor. Second highest score in the qualifying round. Alicia opens up with an Arabian double twist. Little hop there. We'll take a little, but as far as the dynamics of that, that was huge. Alicia has a high energy floor team that definitely gets the crowd going. Scored a 9 9 on floor at the U.S. Championships this year. A rare 9 9. You don't see those anymore. Nice cat leap double to a cat leap one and a half. And that is bonus as far as dance combinations go. Two and a half punch front layout. You see in the front layout a little bit of form break. Her knees separated and bent slightly. Beautiful torsion tape floor right there, that is bonus. And last pass being a beautiful triple full and stuck at the landing. Boy, she just dropped out of the sky on that triple full. Great performance for America's Alicia Sacramoni. She's happy. Out of Massachusetts, her coach Mihai Brestian thrilled with that one. Here's the replay of her opening pass, her Arabian double front. Huge. Alicia is a beautiful dancer on floor. And there's just no substitute for power. I mean, this two and a half twist punch front layout, you notice a little form break there, but she's so strong, she's able to pull it all the way around without a major deduction. We could be looking at a big score. Hey, look at that, nine, six, one, two. Sacramoni takes the lead a lead she would not relinquish sacrimony holds off fellow teammate anastia liukin to take home the gold this caps off a dominating performance for the u.s women as they complete another one two finish to the delight of the international crowd we'll be right back to wrap things up for melbourne with more medals and more action as the 2005 artistic gymnastics world championships continue in Melbourne, the Australians' hospitality matched the grace of their bronze medalist in women's overall, Monette Rousseau. The sheer mastery of Japan's Misu and Tomi was on display with a 1-2 finish in men's overall. The competition was superb, with dreams achieved and hearts broken. In 1987, the Romanians collected a record nine medals at the World Championship. That feat was matched by the United States women, who collected four gold medals, four silver, and one bronze, bettering the U.S. previous best of five medals collected in 1993. We hope you enjoyed our coverage of the 38th Artistic Gymnastics World Championships. I'm Craig Elston. We'll see you next time in the gym.